Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microtech Configurations Please. Today's topic is about PPTP VPN for remote user. In next few videos, I will be discussing on VPN tunnel more. Okay, what is VPN? According to Wiki, VPN, a virtual private network, extends a private network across a public network or least client network and enables user to send and receive data across public networks or shared or least line network as if their computing devices were directly connected to the private network. Today we will see how a remote user can connect to his head office private network through a PPTP tunnel. Okay, PPTP tunnel is a secure tunnel for transporting IP traffic using PPP, PTP encapsulates PPP in virtual lines that run over IP. Let me show you a picture to visualize these things. This is the corporate office router, which public IP address is 192.168.137.2. Assume that this is a public IP address. And local IP address is 192.168.1.0/24, which is class C private IP address for this LAN. And this is my remote machine. And remote user will get the IP address from this network. It is an easy option for client connections. Every modern Windows OS has built-in PPTP client. So all we have to do is to configure the PPTP server in this microRIC router. PPTP traffic uses TCP port 1723 and IP protocol GRE. IP protocol ID is 47. So before you configure, make sure your router doesn't restrict TCP port 1723 and protocol 47. Let's see the configuration. We will go to the um, this router. Open here. I have set up IP address here. So check. This is my one IP address, and this is my LAN IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. I have assigned the gateway, which is 137.1. The station is any IP, and I have set up net for my local users to connect to internet. Let me show you, this is my net source net and action is must create. Okay. Okay, now we will configure the PPTP. PPTP IP will be provided from PPP menu, this menu. Okay. First, we have to enable the PPTP server. So, Go to this button, say interface tab, PPTP server. Check this box, enable, apply, and OK. Now we have to add user for my remote user. Adding user will be done via secret tabs. These tabs. Click plus sign to add. Give it name as test. And the password will be test. Three. Test one two three. Services PPTP. I specified it. And now the local address. Local address is one ninety two one six eight one dot one. And remote address is one ninety two one six eight one dot two forty one. Okay, this IP should be unique IP. It is better to assign IP statically so that you know which user is using which IP. Don't go for the profile or IP pool. Okay, notice that my PPTP local address is the same as the router's address on the local interface. This one, LAN address. And the remote address is from the same range as the local network 192.168.1.0/24. Apply. Okay. So I'll be in the same network, even if we connect from the remote area. So the remote user must connect to the internet and is able to reach office routers public IP. In my case, my public IP is 192.168.1. 37.2 so suppose I'm a remote user 
so I connect with internet from any vendor and I will check if I can reach to that corporate network of why I can connect to my remote network I'm checking if I can reach to my corporate network. Okay, I can reach. Now I will test it from a Windows machine. I'll configure a PPTP client VPN in my PC. So go to the network and internet settings. Go to the VPN, the VPN connection. <laughs> Windows built-in connection name is in. So IP address is public IP address of your PPTP server or your router, corporate office router. It's seven nine nine. It's one nine one six eight one three seven dot two. Just to be sure, this one. You can just specify this one, maybe in time, or you can keep the default automatic. Now the password is username is test and password is test. Okay, save it. Now I will try it. Let the connect. Yeah, connected. Now we will check from this active connections. <coughs> you see, we connected this user already connected here. And IP address is 241. And uptime is 16 seconds. After successfully connect with VPN remote user or your local machine can connect to each other. Ping will unreachable because remote machine can get ARPs from remote workstations. The solution is to set proxy ARP on the local interface but before that we will check if I can still ping from this machine to my remote PC. Okay, we go to the console. This one, okay, the IP, I have 192.168.1.2 IP, okay, 192.168.241, that's the remote machine IP. Most not reachable. So the solution is to set proxy IP on the local interface, so we will go to the network router. Go to the interface. The five ERP proxy ERP. Apply and OK. Now we will check again. See, now we can ping. Now we can ping from our any local user to the remote machine, and vice versa. That's all for today. See you in the next video. And do subscribe to this channel for more videos on Microsoft Router. Thank you.